I closed down that house. Wait, that house, that house, that that's, that house that we've been talking to since the first time? Yes, wait, next door. Wait, 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 Emma, we close on it. I mean, lock on the contract and family buyer. Yes. Oh, and how much you made on it? Thirteen thousand. Emma, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Hey, high five again, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Tell me what's going on with it, man. Well, so, but, but there were some problems. So, okay. so I do want to tell you. So I, I locked it up. The woman and I took the daughter out of the element. Uh, I locked it up with her and I already had a pre buyer because, uh, it's a kind of a old friend of mine that does a lot of flips, a lot of flips. So, uh, he came in, we agreed on a price. I got an attorney in, in Albany because the attorney that you gave me in Buffalo yep. said that I was too far away for her. Okay. Is that weird? That's weird. She said I was too far away and you would wa want to get an attorney closer. So I, I kind of freaked out a little bit, but I found an attorney that supposedly did some uh, investor friendly stuff. Yeah, that's good. And um, so I gave him the contract. And I gave him a hundred bucks for the earnest money. And he said to me, you might want to put down more. And I said, no, that's plenty. Because, you know, you always said that you don't have to put that much down or whatever. Yep. So I said, no, that's plenty. It'll be fine. Yep. And so get this. So the buyer's attorney has an attorney and he's never done a wholesale. Okay. So here's where it gets weird. So he wanted to talk to my lawyer, which is fine. I thought that was fine because he's done it plenty of times and all this. Everything was good, okay? And, and so I, I told him $2,500 earnest money and to get it to my attorney as soon as possible. So everything seemed like, okay, this is going well. I, this is the way I'm supposed to do it, right? Then I get a text from the seller that says, what's going on about a he's going to pay $63,000 for the house. The seller says this to me. I was like, how did she find out? How did she? I, I almost cried. I was like, this is not how it's supposed to work. So I went on the forums. Some guy told me, oh yeah, that's how I lost my first deal. So I thought I was going to lose it. And then, so what happened was my attorney says, well, they do find out. And they do the and ultimately they find out but he goes you have it under contract you shouldn't worry about a thing everything's good i said but i don't want to be deceitful to this person you know i told her i got a buyer and that that we're working together so i told her so he said don't worry you know this this attorney was like don't worry you know blah 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 so this other guy told me because i couldn't talk to you <laughs> so this other guy says here's what you do text her call her and say hey this is what this buyer is going to pay me to help get it done and sell it after he flips it. And that way she'll be okay with this money. And I said, done. So I called her up and I said, yeah, this is what's happening. This is our deal. He might want to structure it in for tax reasons through the, the attorney. I just started thinking things and she goes, Oh, no problem. Okay. That's fine. So that was that. And then it literally, it was, it, they put a closing day on it, and all I did is went to the dog check. Anne Marie, I am, I am so, so happy for you because I remember our first meeting, and I was so yeah. concerned and worried about you because because your budget is so limited. Yeah. Anne Marie, I am so, so happy. I am Thank so you. happy, Anne Marie. I am Thank so you. happy for, for you. Because I remember our first meeting, I was like, oh my goodness. I was so worried, concerned for you. I know. Cause, cause you, you know what? I'm you know? hustling, I'm grinding. And like, even though that was like in, in you know, out there, I still, I have, I have another question for you because I still, it was keeping going because I don't care about that one anymore. Like I got to keep going. Got to keep right. going. So I found this house um, that looked vacant and I called a woman and I think she's might be willing to sell it. So basically there was a lot of, a, a lot of uh, uh, repairs need to go into this house. So I figured in my thought process that it would probably be a buy and hold because it's not in the best area. So maybe somebody would come and maybe fix it up. Not so great, but just to get it to rent it. So my question was, do I 
offer a little bit of a higher price because ultimately the end buyer is not going to put in a bunch of repairs to get it to up to standards just to rent it out. That's my question. So Emory, great questions. And first, I'm extremely happy for you. <laughs> Emory, I got to get you onto the channel. Oh my God. To share your story. So after this, shoot an email. Keith will get a setup for us, okay? Because everybody, everybody in this group knows where you started, and okay. now to you getting your first deal. I, well, man, that first meeting, I was so worried for you. I, <laughs> oh my goodness, please, God, <laughs> you did it! I am so happy, so excited for you. I love to get you onto the channel to share the story.